if you're aiming slightly there's an angle. So I've set the line as if it's straight, so if you were to straight shot Darren, yeah. it will go straight down. So actually I want you to just aim at a very slight angle, just to... to um, Go as far left on the only, only just slightly. Sweet, look better there, mate. Yeah, thanks, pal. You had a chance to have a bit of a work on it. Yeah, yeah, I played uh, a couple of times. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, and uh, I have been filming it again, Good. Mike. Good. And uh, I am trying. It's it's mad. It's like the last couple of sessions we've had. Yeah. And it is. It's all from trying to whack the ball. Yeah, yeah. What's throwing that over? Yeah. And I am consciously now trying to make sure that my arms come down. Yeah. And just. Uh, Rather than twisting me up out, yeah, but sliding across yeah. and bringing that shoulder up in the air. Yeah, getting that left shoulder up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's good. That looked look good, that, mate. Yeah, it just looks, it just looks, you know, we, we're sort of like, if I was to say, like, previous sessions, we've kind of had it, not quite had it. Yeah. We had a bit of a light bulb moment. Last yeah. session on the course, which is fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and that's normally what happens in, in it, really. You know, you get that light bulb moment, and you yeah. go, oh, "Why didn't you just say it like that all the time?" We've, we've, you know, yeah, yeah. There's the many, there's many different ways to try and get across the same thing. It's yeah. just that trying to get that one magic word that resonates with you as the player. Yeah. Because oh, so it's is just that all it is? Is that all I've been trying to do all this time? But you yeah. just not said it in that way. Yeah. You know, there's lots of different ways that will just go. Oh, there you go. Yeah. And, and and it feels like we've probably got that because we you know we've gone away, we've come back today, and we're kind of still there. Yeah, yeah. Where in the past when we have kind of got it, we've then come back to another it's session gone. and it's gone back. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I think I think we you know I'd probably say it, it's it's a good eighty five percent of where you want it to be. Yeah. And that fifteen percent isn't anything more than keep doing it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Repetition. It'll be hundred percent the more you keep doing what you're doing really. And yeah. I think. Eventually, at the moment, it'll feel like it's very consciously conscious. So I'm having to re still really think about doing it. It's not like if you just sort of almost switched your brain off. I don't think you'd quite do it yeah. subconsciously yet. But it's definitely getting there because it's starting to look like it's getting there more, more naturally rather than actually. I'm having to really, really get a deliberate pull up of the left yeah. shoulder. But, you know, in terms of, you know, consistency, in terms of it, what do you in three golf swings? You know, it's a lot better. We can start to build up as you get confidence. Yeah. Start to build up club head speed. You know, for me, you lose a bit of distance at the minute because your speed's down because I'm trying to get that up. Yeah. Because yeah. the minute you start to apply more speed, that's when you that's start good. to associate speed and power with right yeah. shoulder getting into a bad position rather than actually speed and power is just doing the same movement a bit faster. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. so that was that's great. So we want to just keep 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 on top of that. Yeah. Keep uh, keep pushing what we're doing. Look like you've lost a bit of weight, mate. Oh, thanks. Just got tight clothes on. <laughs> have you? Uh, I am trying to, yeah. You do look like you have on sleep. Yeah, I have been trying yeah, a little mate, bit on. Like it's uh, just trying to gain shape, mate. It's, um, lost about two stand off my ankles. That's all right, then. <laughs> I just said you over here. <laughs> yeah, it is lowered. They're all in the same place. Exactly, that's what we wanted. And we're not seeing any any severe curvature of the ball either. So, yeah. you know, we, it's going pretty straight. So, covered speed eight to one. It's just not slow, really. Does that tell you your path now? Uh, no, no. But your, path, your path, because of where we're aiming, and yeah. there's no curvature on the ball, yeah. the face and path are, are pretty much in line. Got you. Because if there was curvature, we yeah. would have a relationship between path and, and, and face. Yeah. So what I'm looking at is the fact that we're aiming towards this green and the ball's finishing towards this green. Yeah. Um, that was with me, me a bit too yes. much left there. That was my best shot. <laughs> I was just stood uh, my shadow, a dark shadow. 
And, you know, what, what we sort of say with, with all golfers is, you know, every golfer has a slight shake. Everybody, you know, no one's hitting arrow straight. And yeah. it's trying to get everything so it's manageable and, yeah. and measurable. So it's like, you know, if I have got a slight left divot, that's okay. Yeah. As long as it's consistently slightly left, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You can play for shots, no, you know what I mean? You can go up, I know I'm going to hit a fade, and yeah. that fade will change as the club gets longer or shorter. We just learn to play that shape. That shape. You know? I had one guy who, a left hand as it happens, he, he hit probably a 30 yard pull. So, sort of, if you imagine, sort of standing the other way around, we hit it 30 yards right all the time. Now, he could do that on a piece of string. So, if I sort of said, just aim square on, he would pull it 30 yards right with a 9-iron, for example, or an 8-iron, I can't quite remember where it was at that time. And he'd almost land them all together, but 30 yards right of a straight target. Okay. So, so obviously in a lesson environment, you know, it's like, well, I want to straighten it up. But the danger was, he was actually hitting the ball, although it was a pull right, the face and path were exactly in line with one another because there was no curvature. Yeah, yeah. So, and this guy could hit it. Yeah. Like you can hit it, and and literally all I sort of said to him is, right, okay, well, if you can, in, let's say in your context, finish every ball there. If I was aiming for that point, not with that we're aiming for that point, but if I was aiming for that point and I could finish every ball there, yeah, without thinking about it, why change it? Why not aim there yeah, right. to get it to go there? Because I know I can swing freely and hit it well, yeah, and score. And that's what we did with this guy. So for example, he was aiming for this point and finishing here. But every ball was there with no curvature and a good length. So I said, well, I can train you, but what's the point? Because all I'm probably going to do is going to make you worse. Yeah, yeah. Because your swing characteristics suit what you're doing. So we got him to sort of appreciate that actually the right thing to do was aim here, because every shot would fi finished here in essence. So he's trying to learn that. So what I want you as a player is actually <coughs> in a practice session, I'm just going to aim at a straight point. I'm going to see where everyone goes, and I'm going to look at almost a chart then. I'm going to go, right, that was the strike point, but every eight iron has finished there, yeah. every seven iron has finished there. So what we then do is, well, based on that strike point, why not then every eight iron aim here, because then it'll finish there, every seven iron aim here, because it'll finish there, every five iron aim there, because it'll finish there. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. we start to make the game easier for you, because you know the, the risk is by making those changes, once we now got some tightness of dispersion, you play with that dispersion rather than then go, oh, I've got all the balls finished in the same place, that's great. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess it all up by then trying to all change six. it all again. Yeah. So, you know, for me, consistency is getting the same thing happening over and over again. Whatever that is, is what it is. What distance is that pin? Uh, so the pin is at one, 151, so don't worry about that pin. I don't think that pin's even at 151. I think that one, I've set that a bit longer. That's a bit further, so let's see if we... That middle pin is 131. A little bit more across that one, if I'm honest. Yeah. That one, there's yeah. a little bit, so just didn't feel like you completed the backswing as well. And I think that's sometimes when I get a bit more choppy, is when I don't quite complete the backswing. So if you then look at where that's gone, where most of your others have been finishing sort of around here. Yeah. Sorry, I'll just take four. So it's like a 133 carry, which is much better. Yeah. So so there, that's your difference. That's just shoulder turn, finishing this whole shoulder turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's almost then sometimes if I start, I'm doing the right thing here, but sometimes if I'm a bit short with my shoulder turn there, it's like, well, I haven't got enough to get at it. Mm. So then it's, it's, it's I've got to try and so that last one, it's almost like I just, it's like you just give that extra bit of ring out and then you've got a better ring. Well, so that, was, that, was, that was best shot today, that by far. Um, very good. Direction 6.2 yards left of that line, which is not a lot, is it? No, no. 
what was it, uh, 20 or something last time, remember that? Yeah, I was going to do that. <laughs> Ridiculous. Don't think about it. Yeah. So just complete the shoulder turn and then that right shoulder. Top and We've just got to be quiet, we want to just make sure we're a bit slack though. Make sure when we do try and complete that shoulder turn, we don't then start locking up your right knee. Yeah. Because that's easy to do. It's like almost like I get to there and it's like, well, I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Give that extra little bit. It's got to stay yeah. into it, yeah. Strike. Let's strike that one. Yeah. So let's have a little look at that. Posture looks good. Distance away looks fine. So the arms yeah. hanging pretty good. Still feel it's quite close to the heel there. Oh, I like that. Yeah, yeah. So that, I wouldn't necessarily stand back. I'd just pull your arms towards you slightly. Yeah. Because then your arms would actually be a little bit more vertically down, but it's just a little bit huggy the heel there. That was that problem before, would it? Yeah, yeah. Tight on and the it's heel. definitely tight on there. And you can look at yeah. the ball markings, it's there. So you're lucky, you're actually keeping the swing fairly good, because you, you, you know, you're you extremely close to that socket, and if it weren't perfect, you'd be shanking all the time. So, <laughs> so but, but in essence, that's where you're starting it. So in essence, you know what I mean? It's like, if I'm going to start it there, I should finish there. But, you know, generally looks pretty good. Not too bad there. A little bit opening up with a golf club face. So we're gonna we can work a little bit more specifically on that uh, in the golf swing. So we're gonna we just look. So you see how the club face is just a little bit open. So we're gonna yeah. be a little bit more specific on the takeaway. But actually, it looks if you forget the club and the hands. The arm position looks good, whereas previously we used to work it away. Oh, yeah, yeah. So that looks nice and tight, and we can see across there it's nice and connected still. So you. Your left arm, right arm, stay nice and connected into here, which is which is good. You look young there, mate. I don't know what I've done different, pal. <laughs> you look young. It's the equity. It is definitely the short back and sides. Yeah. Move it on the top. <laughs> get, get a good recruit. Yeah. Maybe. So we, I think that a little bit is down to the hands. We're gonna we, what we're gonna basically do is we're gonna just feel like the club face is a little bit more closed halfway back. It just fans open a little bit. So we're gonna. We can tidy that up, which might just sort of help us to finish that swing off. But again, looking much better. So we look at across there, looks good. Yeah. Those are sort of what I'm looking for, is we're not looking for it to be too steep or, or even too shallow. You've still got some good connection. Again, that's a great line Yeah. in terms of that position. Goes up a little bit. It's almost like if I could stop it there, I would. And then we just go up a bit high, which is where the left hand comes off the cover yeah, a little yeah. bit there again. But we know that left hand, it's that stretch up. Yeah. It's, it's like I want to go up a bit more. And it's like I can't, I can't get up there without letting go of it. So that, that's, I mean, you know, we're, we're in, this is what I said, it's sort of 85%. Yeah. Because you're in positions you've never been in. It's almost like if I could stop you there. That's bang on. It's, 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 you've never been there, but you're there. And then you just, it's not like you overturn. It's like I go for that extra bit of reach. And then it just comes over a little bit. You know, it's not as much as it was, but it's, it, it's enough to be, you know, not where we want it to be. But, you know, in terms of what we've had to redo, redevelop to where you are now, you know, for me, we're, we're, we're you know, major swing demolition, really. I want to tidy that bit up today. I'm going to work a little bit on that. And I think we can just keep an eye on trying to get it to there. I mean, that's such a good position, mate. Yeah, yeah. I can't stress enough how good a position that is. And if we can 
get you to get the brain to engage with the body is going that's the point to that's stop just, that's yeah. the point to stop the downswing really so you know that's 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 the but the moment really because for me there that's easy then to just pull it back on that position do you know what i mean because that's the transition we want to see mm -hmm. do you know what i mean it's just that it's almost like the transition is caused by that extra bit of lift and then you know but it's 100 percent better so so what i mean by that um that first position so if you just set up a game for me as you are, so you know, I just want to just make sure we get that ball a little bit closer to the middle of the club head at address rather than so it's not a case of as I said standing further back. So, so my first transitional takeaway feeling, what I want to feel. So in terms of your arms, I want it all to feel the same. It's very much just what we're going to look up with the hands. Yeah. So what we're sort of saying is what we see on the video is as I get to here, I'm in a good position, but it's a little bit open. So what I want to do is shut it down a little bit. So it looks as though the club face is locking at the ball a little bit longer. Yeah. So whereas it gets a little bit there. And that's now a little bit open. So if we go back to address, so the feeling to do that is as I take it away, is to feel like I'm doing this. Okay? Yeah. And then, then you go from there, then. then it'll do what it's got to do. So it's not being too tense, it's just make sure I'm not sort of, I'm not leading with sort of that movement. I'm rolling. Uh, yeah, yeah, roll. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to el el eradicate the roll. So I'm a Previous ones, I've been yeah. rolling the there wrist you go. off. There you go. Now we want to. Do I feel like I'm keeping the? There you go. And then it'll roll. It's got a roll. Yeah. Which is where that roll takes place. Okay. You know what I mean? so it's got. To, otherwise, it's not. It's going to end up. You're going to end up with a flying elbow. If I don't, <laughs> if I don't allow it to roll. Yeah. I'm going to end up here. So we don't want to have that. It's just that position there. When I fan it open. Yeah. Then it, you know. That was the previous one. Yeah. So that's easier. So it's just feeling as I'm keeping the. There you go. And then it. And it's from there. Then you can go. Good. Because okay. we know at the top it looks pretty in line. Yeah, yeah. So I don't want to detriment the top position. It's just that early little bit of feeling of, of, of opening it up at the beginning. Okay. That's such a good sound, doesn't it? Yeah. That probably felt like less swing and more power. Sounded totally different. Yeah. So it's just that very, very first, so it's not a, we're not trying to push out, we're not trying to pull in. Yeah. We're just trying to make sure we keep that club face looking at the ball a little bit longer. So there you go. And then from there, you can see it's starting to open anyway. That's good. We just don't want to open it up at the very, very first instance. Okay. It's on the green pal. Was it dancing? <laughs> it's dancing. Right, let me just get a quick shot of this green. Like Two seconds. No, I'll show you. So, sorry, Oops, sorry, Paul. Just, no, no, I'm just going to show you. So, in essence, what we're sort of what we're looking at is. That's where we were. Yep. So you can sort of see. And I, I relate this a lot more because you've got a good grip position. I use my thumbs more than I would anything else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if, if my thumbs start to sort of come a little bit to the right, if you like, or behind me here, that's when I find it open. So I'm trying to keep my thumbs more on top of the club. Mm -hmm. So what, if we look at that versus that, to so say your thumbs are still more on top. Yeah. Whereas on, on the previous one, they're working behind me. So that was the take on the last swing. So there's loads better. See, so it's more in line where that's now starting to go. And then this was the last swing. I just want to interested to see how that takeaway impacts the top swing. So you can see there where the club face is still looking at the ball. Yeah. It's a bit shorter. Yeah. So you've not let go as much. What a little finger to wobble us about it, eh? Uh, it's not enough to worry about though, is it? No. Yeah, 
you know, as I said, that 85%, that's, that's still that right shoulder going up a little bit. Yeah. But that's so minimal now. You know, but look at, if you look at that, that's the actual top position versus, um, we go to a true top position. So that's where you were, started to like recently. Yeah, yeah. Nice and days. And that's that's because you've improved the first part of the golf swing. Yeah, so it's yeah. like you know, it's relating that to that. It's yeah. hard to see. Yeah, that that bit there improves that bit. It's almost like when I start to fan that hands open a little bit, as I've got more movements. Whereas when it's there, it just feels a bit more tight. As such. Yeah. It's just. It's just like just showing that club face a little bit more to the ball, that a little bit longer. But it is night and day. Yeah. yeah. That's what I was doing for. Yeah, that's it. There you go. So it's just feeling as you keep, again, just feel from your thumbs. Some people use thumbs, some people use the, the back of the glove. Yeah. Some either keep the thumbs a bit more up rather than, or keeping that forward more. So yeah. when I take it away, because it's got to go eventually. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But it's, it's not, it's not the, the, the kind of key movement. That, just, that, that makes loads of sense. So, so when I was taking it away, I was just letting that, up. Yeah, I was letting that just fold over. There you go, yeah. And is that, that letting me then go up there yes, is, yeah. to get some? It's almost too loose, isn't it? Yeah, wherefore if I keep that looking at the ball, Yeah. There's a bit of restriction either. There you go. It's starting to feel resistance. That's it, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good. And then obviously that then... You, know, you almost can't get far without yeah. then making a deliberate movement. So then, whereas that other movement's allowing you to get to where yeah. you don't want to be, that's but just, naturally want to be. It's like that, ain't you? From yeah. That's just fanging out and it's just go. giving round and let it do what it yeah, wants. Yeah, do what it wants to do, yeah, which we don't want it to do. No. Okay. Plenty of practice. Get a bit looking at the ball. That just sounds solid, doesn't it? Yeah. Because now you've actually got a lot, you're a lot stronger. Yeah. Because if you imagine that early movement is, is weakening the loft, isn't it? Because of, of that sort of opening up, the loft on the club's coming in a bit more open. Yeah. Club speed's good. Um, so it's just getting that feeling, and trusting that feeling. It's actually, it's almost like, you know, it's not about sort of beginning and, and trying to undo what we've already done, but it's just that early bit is what I want to be there rather than there yeah and it's that position rather than sort of that position that's it right that looks so short as well really yeah. the club is short power I mean look at how far it's going it's I don't think they're pairing now. They won't like, it takes yeah. like a pull out of... Yeah, but it's more... It's the powers coming from things working together. Isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. You know, rather than sort of independent, lots of independent moving parts that aren't actually ever joined. So you can got, you've got a lot more work going on, yeah. and a lot less coming from it. Yeah, but... Whereas now you've got more... Move, well, you've got all those moving parts, but moving more as one. Oh, yeah. In that old swing, yeah. when I watch the videos back, and I'm, I'm doing doing that yeah. and trying to really act, Quite. hack at it. Yeah. yeah. And like some of the other ones, they are giving, even though it feels like there's more power, yeah, yeah. there's nothing there, is that? No, absolutely not, because, you know, in essence, you know, I can have lots of going on, but actually, you know, as I'm sort of coming into this position here, things like hips start to thrust forward. Yeah. My arms are then, so I'm actually only sort of hitting it with my arms. There's a lot of effort. Yeah. But it's inefficient. Because yeah, yeah. there's a lot going into something that ain't giving you anything back to it, yeah. it just doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Oops, sorry. No, so I'm just going to pop a bit of this on. That felt as if I just... But what you've got there is you've got less, less... You've got more, because you've got more joined up. Yeah. But actually you've got less on the basis that I'm not swinging it as, with as much brute force and effort. Yeah. But I'm getting a lot more out of it because it's more timed, things are working more together, you know. So it's just getting that really.
straight middle. There you go. Woo! We're getting there. <laughs> We're getting there. But you know, what, what, what hopefully we start to see is why, you know, when a lot of people go for a lesson, they'll go for one lesson, they don't get the results straight away. No, you have a magic wand, have you? But, but what it is, is what, you know, what we're trying to do is create, like, we've got enough through the winter to kind of almost make these horrible changes. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes, you know, it was, it was given to me, it's like, it's called the ugly zone of change, really. And, yeah. and you know, if I do want to get better, sometimes I have to go through that ugly zone and make those horrible changes. Yeah. But, but that's what, what it takes, you know, and otherwise I'm just going to put, a lot of golfers are, are very good at going for a lesson, thinking the coach has got a magic wand, going to sprinkle some magic dust over the Get ball and, dust and off they go. And, yeah. and then in between those lessons, there's no, people aren't then prepared to practice the ugly zone. They're not prepared to go, well, I've, yeah. got, I've got to trust what I'm, what I'm working on. Yeah, yeah. That's a big thing, about trust, you yeah. know, and there's no, there's no coach that I know that would ever put a player in a position that, you know, isn't right for them or, or support them in, the, in that way, really. But yeah. it's very hard as a coach when, you know, somebody goes, well, I'll have, I'll have a lesson and then say, well, for me, that's hard. You know, players need to commit to a yeah. program of, 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 of lessons, really. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, and it's not about learning every time. The you know, coach's role is to support, to work with a player, not to say, right, you will do this, you yeah, will yeah. do that. It's about, right, this is what we're doing. What do we want to do? How are we going to get there? So yeah. the coach is really just the, the eyes and the knowledge to support a player. Yeah, yeah. Do you yeah, know what I mean? Because every player is different, so every coaching programme for every player will look, so should look very different. Yeah. It's not like a sausage factory where you churn the same <laughs> sausage yeah. out all the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it's different for every <clears throat> I still, like, I think it was the first lesson we had, and we, we found about that left hand yeah, yeah. releasing the club. And I, if I'm in the back garden or I've got any free time, I do yeah. practice that. I do yeah. practice to make sure that that hand has got. Too. It's got most of the. Now, if you relate, if we dial that back into today's lesson, and what we're working a little bit more on this early part of the backswing is is actually it links a little bit into that as well. Yeah. Because actually, I'm not doing that, am I? No. Because I'm not doing that. So now you can start to look at that drill. Yeah. It's actually been a good drill. Yeah. Pulling them out to the backswing. Yeah. Because actually, I'm not doing that. Now. Yeah. So now you can start to look at that drill. Yeah. It's actually been a good drill. What I'm actually doing. So when I'm doing this, we were acknowledging a very different thing from that 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 purpose why we use it. But actually, that that now has got a better another purpose. Is the fact that. When I'm doing that, actually, I'm keeping the face more there. Yeah, yeah. Because from there, if I found that open, now I'm not, I've lost it. So actually, I was doing that great in that drill. But now we can relate that to an, a, another swing part that we, we need to be more specific yeah. on, which is, which is that, that initial takeaway. So, oh, you know, it's, it's, it does to me. It links. Because now that I was perhaps, sorry, just, it just no, no. another light bulb keep, clicked keep on. Light bulbs. So light bulbs if you good. think that I was practising that to keep. Yeah. Uh, 80, 90 yeah, percent. Well, pressure. that was the predominant the yeah, pressure yeah. to be on that left hand and practicing yeah. that. Yeah. So then that drill now will turn it. Now I've learned that that yeah, drill needs to turn into rather than the club facing. These yeah. two, uh, the two back of the hands stay together. Perfect. There you go. So keeping the hands together that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah. keeping that, which is why you find as that's it sounds. Not that I'm going to teach it, but you find with a lot of if you see golfers that go left below right, swing yeah. that way. You very seldom see them fan the face open. You tend to find it keeps that a lot square at this point. Wasn't I seen something about Rory Macro just just look like a, a Yeah, so some 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 players, so um uh, I'll tell you a good one, VJ Singh, he warms up that way around. Yeah. So he just hits a few shots just to to instigate that feeling. So yeah. VJ you'll see him sort of doing a few warms just just halfway, just to get that feeling of getting the club face, because that sort of restricts so what you'll find is if you do ever see any amateur golfers that grip the opposite way round, yeah. not that you would go, oh, that's what you've got to do, and not that if you ever had a play, if I had a player come to me that gripped it that way round, the first thing I wouldn't be looking at is changing it. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? a lot, and that's why a lot of players who probably do more unorth unorthodox things tend to get scared to have a lesson. Yeah. Because they're scared that the coach is, well, I'll grip, I know I'll grip it wrong. Well, my opinion is, who said it's wrong? Yeah, there's yeah, no, There's no book working. that says... It's wrong, it's just there's a stereotypical way that people hold it. My yeah. attitude is, how do you feel comfortable? And then we work with that. And then if that grip was causing the player's problem, then you'd have a conversation about it. But if it wasn't the root cause of the problem, you don't change it. No, 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 no. So, so in my opinion, so, and that's why you see sort of like, you know, golfers that are right, what we know as right-handed, that grip left below right, they tend to swing quite short because almost they can't get far. So yeah. There's an argument, it's not a bad thing. You know, again, yes, would I teach you? Possibly not, because... You know, it's quite a difficult sometimes to sort of teach what they might perceive to be wrong because nobody does it that way. Yeah, yeah. But if somebody, you know, I know a lot of good golfers, we've got a couple of members here that 
you know, swing that way around. And actually, I've got re a good golfers, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So their problems are not caused by being that way around. And actually, it's got good qualities, because it's almost like I can't swing past that point. You know, yeah. as I come into it, I can keep the club base a lot square. The hard thing, you know, where I tend to find me that way around is, 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 is the kind of release through the ball. Yeah. You know, it's, feels more awkward. But yeah. in terms of the qualities controlling the backswing, so it's actually not a bad thing just to feel, if I was just doing a few chip shots, yeah. just to warm up, just do a few looseners, because what you can see there is the sort of wanting to do that, to keep the glove at the target. There you go. We'll go back again. That's Ooh. it. We'll try and keep that more there. So go back again. So try not to, as you go back, there you go. Don't need to no. keep that separation. So this separates it more. So you keep that there. That's it. Try not to get those two touching. Yeah. There you go. There you go. So then if you swap your hands around, the same sort of feeling. Don't want to get these two. Yeah. Now this I You've got it. You're right. <laughs> You're right. It's different sound. It's still fair. It's that's fine. Just yeah, it's tad. Just, that's still middle. Yeah. Strategy. <laughs> right, so face the ball, that's it, and then go. Okay. What was good there was we sort of distracted you for a good five, ten minutes, yeah. kind of got back on it. Was that? There's a little bit more on the toe of that one, yeah. And that's what just took a bit more off. It's probably took 15 yards off that, yeah. that strike. But again, you know, it's tight on that dispersion, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's all them balls there, that's yeah, all yeah, my balls. Yeah. I mean, on our first few lessons, there was oh, over mate, here, wasn't it? It was like the Red Arrows. <laughs> <laughs> you thought you were in an air display, you know what I mean? An air show. <clears throat> What's... But, you know, that was your very first one, so let's, let's sort of erase that one. But then, yeah. you know, we, we kind of look at... Uh, I mean, them balls, I know they are probably the longest, some of them, but... Yeah, a couple of them are on the weaker side of things, but... But they're pliable, isn't they, for a cheaper yeah. chip on? Absolutely, uh, let me just... Which, which, was, which, is, which is great. Um, Generally, I mean, we're fairly, you know, fairly consistent. In that was an I've meant to ask you as well, yeah. because of my, um, on that last lesson we had. Yeah. Because I was aiming, say, for the, the, where the flag is. Yeah. And that was, and that thing you took, you said about tracks. So even though my body, yeah. yeah, even though my body's in line with that pole, yeah. the ball isn't, is he? No. The ball's so, in a different... So in essence, if I was aiming at that pole, yeah. okay, so if you imagine, Based on the fact that obviously simulation is at a slight angle, yeah. so so we've got to assume at that pole, yeah, he's actually in line here because the way in which the flight scope is set up is, is a square line here, right? Yeah. So if I swung it down that that line, which is about to the right edge of this bunker, yeah, that's it, sir. Right, that that ball will fly on that pole, but we ain't trying to hit that pole. We're trying to hit this green, so we aim sort of towards just just towards that pole, which is what we do. Yeah. But let's just assume a straight line here. So if I wanted the ball to fly down this line, my feet wouldn't aim at that right edge of the bunker. No. Are you with me? Because yeah, then yeah, yeah. the two are crossing over. Yeah. So I would now be in line with that. Because that's what I was doing before. Was it? So you what you were doing was aiming like at the target. Yeah. So you're aiming your body at... Let's use the, yeah, that's... You're aiming your body at that and your club at it. So if you've been at that point, there's a crossover. Yeah. So I'm never, in, I'm never actually swinging down the line of my feet because... If I'm aiming, as I said, one, if I'm aiming that, if that, end, if that end of that point there is my target, yeah. figure of speech, and I'm aiming my feet at the target, yeah. right, 
one's crossing over the other, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Where actually, if I want to hit it, if I want to swing down the line at target, that has to be there. Yeah, yeah. Which is my train tracks, if, if one for a better word. So, yeah. you know, my parallel line. So, so if I'm trying to hit into a green and try to and continue to work on this sort of path that we've talked a lot about, trying to get that feeling being more into out, is in essence, if I wanted to hit this 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 red and white post with that better path, my feet will probably be about here. Because my train tracks, my parallel lines, are there. Yeah. And that, that will vary depending on the length of the club. So, you know, whereas with a wedge, my parallel line might be here, because naturally the club's shorter yeah, and I'm yeah. closer to it. And as I go sort of, you know, seven iron could be there, five iron could be here, driver could be here. So I'm not ne I'm not aiming more open. So we don't want to misinterpret no, no. I'm not aiming more open as in twisting left. Just I'm still always in line. Yeah. But because I'm further away from the ball because the club is longer, that line now is, is more out here. Whereas if I sort of stand in closer, I'm still parallel. Yeah. But now it's a lot closer. So so I'm not aiming more left. No, no. In that sense of twisting yeah, I more aim, left. Yes, I aim opening. Exactly that. Or closing. Exactly. Just I'm just more in line. More, yeah. But what we were always doing, um, and it's not an uncommon, if I have a sense of bad aim, it tends to be more as a consequence that people tend to aim their body at the target, yeah. thinking, you know, logically, you know, or I'm going to aim at the target, <laughs> then they're coming to here, and then that's going way right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's very seldom do I ever, ever have a lesson where I'm about to say to a goal, oh, you're aiming too far left. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Na naturally, you want to aim at your target, you see. Yeah. Um, so it's understanding that, that to, to, the only thing that ever aims at the target yeah. is the club face, which is why we'd always aim the face first in the process of aligning up. I'd always aim my face down my target line first yeah. and then get my body in line with my club face. And it's a lot easier to write because if you aim your club face first, if you just aim your club face first, yeah. was, now, now if you aimed your feet at the target as well, you'd see that it's shut. Because if you now aimed your feet where your club's going, you'd go, oh, that's wrong. Because now the face will look like it's twisted in. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So always aim your club face first and then yeah. aim your body in line with the club face. And then you shouldn't get it wrong. And the best way to get your club face in line is picking the spot out just in front of the ball. How's that looking? It's good. Yeah. Okay, it's no curvature in it again, so we know the face is working nice and in line still, which is good. Sandy. Sandy middle. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay, good. Look towards you a little bit. Pull the foot towards you. Oh, well, that's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Right. Nearly. But we'll just open the face up a little bit then. Send a bit at the time. Yeah, it's just there. Right, so. Two more. Two more. Two more. Set your floor. Good. Face at the ball there. That's a choppy one, I Oh, I had to laugh yesterday. <laughs> I'm going to get rid of this ball. We might. Joking? Nah. Oh. Right. Find that up. This will be the best one of the day. 